Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Here's a look at the top stories we are following tonight. Alcohol suspected in a deadly crash in Iosco County last night. Michigan State Police say it happened on M65 near Slosser Trail. Investigators say a Ford Taurus driving north turned in the path of a southbound Fiat 500. The driver of the Fiat, a 42-year-old hail man, was taken to a local hospital where he later died. A passenger inside the Fiat suffered minor injuries. The driver of the Taurus, a 34-year-old hail man, sustained minor injuries. Police arrested him for drunk driving after he was treated at a hospital. Still unfolding, one man is dead and another was injured in a shooting at a gas station in Flint. State police say it happened Monday night at about 9.30 at the BP gas station on Clio Road. They say someone fired a gun inside the store, killing a 24-year-old man and injuring an 18-year-old man. Two people were arrested yesterday. To help kids eat healthy food this summer, eligible families will get extra money in the coming months. Those eligible will receive $120 per child throughout the summer. Funds will be distributed ahead of, the July, ahead of July 19th. Benefits will be applied to bridge cards. If you don't have one already, one will be mailed to you. For more information, check out our story on WNEM.com. Now here's Chris with your first alert forecast. David, temperatures tonight are expected to drop down into the 60s, so it should be a little bit cooler than last night where some of us even stayed in the 70s. The middle and upper 80s are expected as we go through tomorrow. Humidity levels will still be there, but not completely miserable, so it'll feel like a pretty typical summer day. If you are headed to fireworks tomorrow night, temperatures likely early in the evening will be in the 80s, but will cool down to the 70s. A small chance for a spot shower or storm tomorrow night, but most areas shouldn't have to worry. Your first alert, pinpoint dot the radar shows dry conditions tonight. We do expect that cold front to keep things dry the rest of tonight. Hour by hour through the day tomorrow, you'll see sunshine tomorrow morning. A few clouds pass through here and there throughout the day, and occasionally we may see a storm pop up during the afternoon and evening hours. But again, we don't expect the coverage to be widespread, and we'll likely see that fade away as we go through the latter half of the night. Friday, we'll have a better chance for showers and storms working across the area, but it looks like that time frame has now moved up a little bit, so even though we may have some storms during the evening, they might be early in the evening with a chance to clear out by the time there might be any Friday night fireworks displays. Your forecast for the next seven days shows once we get to the weekend, the chances will drop off a bit. 70s Saturday, 80s on Sunday. We'll also have some 80s early next week with a chance for thunderstorms Monday and Tuesday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.